Hey everybody, it's Charles from HumbleMechanic.com and today we're going to be talking about the FLIR 1 Thermal Camera. So the folks at FLIR reached out to me and asked me if I would check out their add-on to a smartphone thermal camera. This is the one for iOS and they do make it for Android as well. And it's a pretty neat little add-on to your cell phone. We can take it plug it right into the lightning port of our iPhone, or this will actually work on any iOS with a lightning cable. We can install it as a front-facing camera, or the way I prefer it, a rear-facing camera. And the way this works is it combines the regular image from your camera phone, as well as the thermal image from this little add-on, and it pairs the two together to create a pretty high detailed picture. The cool thing too is it doesn't just do pictures, you can record video with this as well, which is awesome, especially for me, because right, this is what I'm gonna use it for. Initially, when I talked to the folks at FLIR, we talked about doing a demo with this camera when the Wookiee was done, and we could kind of go through and show a thermostat opening and really track coolant flow, make sure our radiator was working properly, make sure that our condenser was working properly and our fans, but, I've been test driving this thing at the shop and it's super cool and I didn't want to wait until the Wookiee was done before I showed you guys just some of the really neat things you can do with this. Before I show you guys all the cool stuff that I've done with the FLIR 1, let's talk about what comes in the box. So of course in the box you get the camera add-on. Again, this is the one for iOS, goes in a lightning cable. They do make it for Android devices as well. You get a little cover for the camera, which is neat. What I do is I just leave it in this and throw it in my backpack when I want to take it home. Inside the box, this is where it sits when you open it first, which is cool. You also get a lanyard as well as a charging cable. And then of course instructions and, which is pretty neat, a thank you letter from the vice president of FLIR. So even in the short time that I've had this, I've been able to do some pretty neat stuff with it. I haven't been able to put it through all the tests that I really want to yet, but I think this is just such a valuable tool that I wanted to share it with you guys right away. One of the really cool things is we had a brand new Passat with a broken valve spring. And of course we were using the factory equipment to diagnose the misfire, right? It had a, a pretty much a dead misfire. Well, as you can see here, Cylinder three is quite a bit hotter than the other three cylinders. And that's the heat signature that you're seeing there. Another thing I wanted to do is test it on a heated seat. Now the seat was already pretty warm from a car that was sitting in the sun, but as we kind of fast motion it, you'll start to see the heating elements underneath the cushion of the heated seat as it warms up. The more red in color, the hotter the item is gonna be. Here we have a rear defrost. You can start to see as it warms up. You'll see the lines start to form on the back glass. This would be useful to try and find a dead spot in a rear window. This is a relay panel, and as you can see, there was one fuse in the middle that was getting really hot. These are the blade fuses on the front of like a Mark VI Golf. If one of these were to have a high current draw, you'd see a considerable temperature difference. Also looking at flow through the HVAC system, so this is with my air conditioning on. This is my Passat here, you can see that blue line right there is where the air conditioning is flowing out of the duct. Even though it's not at the surface, you can still see the temperature change under the dash. This is a short video of the hood of my car. This was immediately after about a 30 minute drive home. This white area right here is right above where the turbocharger is. You can really see how hot it gets underneath the hood of a car. And speaking of heat, here's your temperature of your brakes and even the tires as well. So you can do some really cool stuff with this. This is just like the tip of the iceberg kind of thing. There's so many things that this little guy can do. You're going to be trying to find reasons to break it out and use it. Let's see exactly how it works. So a couple of ways you can do it. There's an on off switch on the side. You can simply turn it on and plug it into your phone. That'll automatically trigger the alert to allow FLIR 1 to access your camera. And here we go, this is the actual image it's, it's in selfie mode, so it's like a thermal image of my camera, just to show you what that looks like. This is uh, on photo mode. You can also, like I mentioned, record video. You can record a panoramic shot, and you can even do a time lapse, which I think a time lapse would be really neat because that might help you maybe diagnose a sticking thermostat. And that's the one that I'm really excited to get access to a thermostat that uh, I can fit my camera down and do a, do a time lapse for you guys. That'll be coming down the road. You can also change the way that it looks depending on 
what you prefer. Arctic looks kind of cool. And notice that it also has the temperature right here in the middle. As far as fitment on the phone, it fits really well. It doesn't fit with my cell phone case on it, but there is a tiny gap between the camera and your phone. So if you had a really slim case, it would probably fit just fine. But even still, I mean, this is a pretty aggressive wiggle <laughs> on the phone and it's, it's holding on there tight. I wouldn't, I wouldn't want to drop it with it on there or you know fling my phone or anything crazy like that. You wanna be a little bit careful, but it's definitely holding on really, really well. So all in all, I think this is a really cool tool. Again, it's one of those things that like, if you don't have, you don't know you need, but when you have one, you really try and find every single possible use that you can to break out the camera. This camera retails for about 250 bucks. I'll drop a link down in the video description to Amazon, you can check it out. Again, very cool little add-on to your cell phone. I'm excited to uh, keep putting it through its paces and probably do like a long-term review. I was just so excited about it, I didn't wanna wait any longer to share this really awesome thing with you guys. There was one thing that I did notice that every once in a while, while recording video especially, it got a little laggy. It wasn't anything where I was like, oh, come on, you camera. It was very, very minor, and it also only happened to me while I was recording video on the phone, so it was never something that happened while, uh, while just straight using it at the shop and test driving it out, so. Um, not a huge deal, and again, it was a pretty uncommon thing to happen. And I also feel like you guys would probably give me a hard time if I didn't do this, since everyone expected the first picture I posted to be a selfie with the thermal camera. All right, guys, I'm gonna wrap it up there. If you have any questions or comments, you know what to do. Hey, if you like this video, throw a thumbs up on YouTube. I always appreciate that. You can also subscribe on YouTube or on the blog at humblemechanic.com. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and of course, on Snapchat. All right, guys. Thanks for watching and I will see you next time.